I certainly remember doing a solo practice at home and giving DP a ring on the phone and him saying to me, oh, I'm, I'm just in Marks and Spencers, but I'll, can you FaceTime me? So I was sort of, oh, well, like he's in Marks and Spencers. So we're on FaceTime and I'm in my living room at home thinking, I'm not really sure whether or not this is quite open enough or is it open? And he's, uh, so I'm ringing him on FaceTime and he's at the till at Marks and Spencers in Harrogate and he's, He's going, just put the camera down on your racket like this. And he's like, he's looking and he's like, let me see down. Can you fit your little finger? So again, we're just, you know, practicing this little finger, turning the grip slightly round so that you can actually get a little space in, in underneath your thumb. And he's, uh, he's gone, right now, get a pen and just, that's where it needs to be, write, write it on your grip. So that's what I did. And then just went about trying to really solo practice that then with knowing that I had the absolute correct position after you know a few hours of practicing it on my own away from him. We went about just trying to practice it with Danny and practicing it in solo practices. And it basically just had a real impact on the shape of my ball to the back of the court. So anyone who's worked on taking the ball out in front will know that you can get a completely different shape onto the ball, especially into the back corners. You can take the ball slightly out in front of you, which then allows you to follow through in a slightly different path. And the unbelievable thing with small changes like that is how it you know, incrementally knocks on every effect of your, of your swing. So it definitely helped the shape of my ball. So whether I was hitting a little higher on the front wall or whether I was hitting a little bit lower, I had a, a shape where the ball was always cutting away from the opponent and not catching the side wall as much. And then, as I said before, the drop shot had a similar effect, being able to take the ball out in front with a slightly more open grip, leading with the racket head, meant that the ball could run down the side wall a little bit more rather than fade into the side wall and come back out towards my opponent. So it was definitely worth having that conversation on FaceTime in Marks and Spencers. And um, I think that the, the shots have, have been reflected in that over the practice and solo practices that I've done over time as well.